found in you Everything I ever wanted I found in you And everything I ever wanted I found in you And everything I ever wanted I found in you Everything I ever wanted, I found in you. 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 Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go, taking me from the mire clay, you set my feet upon a rock, and now I know that I never let you go you're my savior my closest friend lord i will worship you till the very end so jesus jesus lover of my soul and jesus i will never Taking me from the mighty clay, you set my feet upon the rock, and now I know that I love you. I need you, and though my world may fall, I'll never let you go. I sing your you my say. I will worship you till the very end. Tell them I love you. Now I love need you. I need you. Though my world may fall. Though my world may fall. I'll never let you go. You're my Savior. You're my Savior. My closest friend, Lord. I will worship you till the very end. Say it again, I love you. I love you. Need you. I need you. Though my world may fall. Though my world may fall. I'll never let you go. You're my Savior. My closest friend. Yeah.
everything I ever wanted I found in you and everything I ever wanted I found in you and everything I ever wanted I found in you one more time and everything I ever
Yeah. 
praying for the youth in this city. Ephesians 1.17. Father of glory, I ask you for 12-year-olds, Lord, for 13-year-olds, for teenagers, for high school students in this city, would you give to them the spirit of wisdom and revelation to know your son? Would you open their eyes to see the glory, the beauty of Jesus? Father, in this city, within this even South Kansas City area, I ask you, would you send forth the power and conviction of the Holy Spirit? Lord, in Grandview High School, God, in Ruskin, in our very district, I ask you to bring forth salvation, the, the knowledge of your Son. Lord, I ask you that many would come to know the glory of, of Jesus, that many would come to know your Son as Savior, that many would come to see Him as Messiah, the Savior from their sins, God, that, that you would send your Holy Spirit in such a way that you would begin to convict teenagers, the youth in this city of sin, and show them their need for a Savior. God, I ask you for the glory of your name in this city, because of the promise you've given to, the, to us in this city, because of the promise you've given to us in this house, send forth the spirit of wisdom and revelation, the knowledge of your Son, in Jesus' name. will go through the final exit outreach. Would you, Lord, would you open their ears? Would you open their eyes? Would you open their hearts to receive? And as they are confronted with depravity, and as they are drawn in to the invitation to receive your son, would you make a way where there is no way? Would you open up a wide and effectual door for the gospel? I ask you for every minister of the gospel to have a boldness and a, an authority on their voice to proclaim your son. I ask you for every minister of the gospel to be given a spirit of prophecy to testify of, of your son. Lord, I ask you for those who go through the final exit, would you give to them the spirit of wisdom and revelation? Would you give to them a desire to turn from their sins and repent and to claim you as Messiah Jesus? Holy Spirit, I ask you for the sake of, of the glory of Jesus in this city, or even for this outreach, would you come and do what only you can do? Break open the hardest hearts like a hammer, God, like a fire. Would you break in with your glory? Show forth the spirit of wisdom and revelation in Jesus' name.
whom our help comes from, the creator of heaven and earth. And we stand before your throne in the place of prayer, partnering with you, God. We ask for teenagers in our city tonight who don't know you. We ask that you would open up their eyes and reveal the beauty of your son, Jesus. God, I ask that tonight the spirit of wisdom and revelation would strike their hearts. God, that those that are in darkness would suddenly come into the light. Those that are living in confusion, those that have so many questions, your son Jesus as the answer to their questions, that you would reveal his worth, that you would reveal his beauty, that you would reveal Jesus to them tonight, that no longer would they be looking to other things for answers, to drugs or alcohol, but God, tonight that you would be the one that comes and satisfies their soul. I ask for encounters. I ask for dreams and visions. Tonight, God of the impossible, I ask that you would do it for you that in a moment you can change even the hardest heart even the one that is in the most deception in the most confusion in the most darkness that in one moment you can bring them into the light and you can bring freedom and so I ask God that you would do what you love to do and that you would reveal your son Jesus to them that tonight would be the night of salvation for thousands of youth in our city
to pray for teenagers in Grandview from Acts 2, 17. Father, we thank you because your word is true. We thank you, Lord God, because in the last days you said you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh, that our sons and daughters would prophesy, that our young men would see visions. Father, we ask that you would release your spirit on the teenagers of Grandview, Lord, that you would baptize them in fire, Lord God, that you would visit them in the night seasons, God, that you would give them a revelation of your beauty, that you would give them a revelation of your holiness, God, that you would reveal your glory unto the teenagers of Grandview, Father. Pour out your spirit, God. Cause teenagers to prophesy in their high schools. Cause them to prophesy, Father God, on street corners. Cause them to prophesy, God, even, Lord God, in their clubs, Lord God, on their sporting teams, God. We ask, God, that you would release a revival in Grandview, Lord God, as teenagers, Lord, come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, Father. We ask, God, that you would pour out, Lord God, your power, God. God, that you would heal and that you would deliver and that you would set free, Father God, in Grandview, God. We ask, God, that you would, Lord God, show yourself strong, Father, to this generation, God. We ask, God, that you would open their eyes, God. Give them the eyes, Lord God, uh, hallelujah, of their understanding to be enlightened, Father, that they would know what is the hope of their calling, Father, that they would know, Lord God, what the exceeding greatness of your power to them that believe, Lord Jesus. Uh, Father God, release revelation, God, to teenagers, God, hallelujah, that replaces, God, uh, the false entertainment, Lord God, of this generation, God. Release, Lord God, a fascination. Release a holy fascination to teenagers, God. Hallelujah, that would cause them to stand in the evil day, Lord God. That would cause them not to compromise, Father. We ask, God, that you would pour out your spirit on teenagers in Grandview in Jesus' name. Pour out your spirit. Just 
Spirit. We want to have a time of rapid fire prayer for the young people that are going to be coming to the final exit production uh, next week. We want to invite you to come and to pray five to ten second prayers for the teenagers in Grandview. Father, we thank you for the word of the Lord that runs swiftly. We ask, God, that you would cause, Lord God, this production, Lord God, on next week, Lord God. Let your word run swiftly and be glorified, Father God. We ask, God, that signs, wonders, and miracles will be the portion, Lord God, of these nights of this production, Lord God, that young people all over Grandview, God, might get a revelation, Father God, of your glory, of your beauty. Save, Father. We ask, God, that you would save by your spirit, save by your power, Father God. Shake everything that can be shaken, Lord God, in young people's lives, Lord God. Cause them to turn from the way that they're going, God. Cause them to turn, Lord God, from a hell, God, destruction, Lord God. Cause them to turn, Lord God, hallelujah, to your glory, to your beauty, Lord God. Cause them to turn, Lord God, to you, God. Give them a revelation, Jesus, of your love, God. Give them a revelation of your glory, Lord. Give them a revelation, God that this is their time, that this is their season, Father God. Pour out your spirit during this final exit production, Father God. Saved by the hundreds, Lord God. Saved by the thousands, Lord God. Save Grandview, Lord Jesus, even as we come, Lord God, into the spring, summer seasons, Father God. We ask for a revival of young people, Lord God. We ask for a harvest, Father God, of young people in Grandview. In Jesus' name. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts by your spirit. Do what you love to do, do what you love to do. Encounter hearts. By your spirit, do what you love to do, do what you love to do, encounter hearts. By your spirit, do what you love to do, do what you love to do, encounter hearts. By your spirit, do what you love to do, do what you love to do, encounter hearts. By your spirit. final exit and I ask that you would send the Holy Spirit. God, I pray for the evangelism rooms. And God, I ask that you would send the Holy Spirit and that there would be salvations, baptisms of fire. And God, I ask that weak souls would just be strengthened in the name of Jesus. Dear Father, I pray that as the intercessors pray behind the walls, Father God, that you would tear down walls, Father God, that have been spoken over the people that will be going through final exit, Father. That you would open eyes, Father God, and tenderize their hearts to receive the love of Jesus, in Jesus' name. God, I ask that through this production you would convict hearts. Jesus, I just pray for those who are sitting on the fence, who are deciding whether or not they want to do this thing. Jesus, you are not boring. You are beautiful. Jesus, we love you. Hello, I ask you through the final exit, would you open up a wide and effectual door for the gospel to be preached? that many would come to know Jesus. Father, we ask for the soil of their hearts to be good, that the seed would go deep, that you would breathe upon the preaching of the word, and you would captivate their imagination for days afterwards, and the name of Jesus would cause them to be saved. Open up 
open up a door and save many souls, Lord. Open up a door, open up a door. Yes, God. Encounter their hearts, Lord. Open up a door, open up a door. Give them revelation, God. Save many souls.
Father, we call forth the releasing of your angels to go out and prepare the way for those whom you have ordained to come to this evangelistic outreach, God. And we ask that you would set a wall of fire before, during, and after guard the evangelistic outreach to guard the seed that you will plant. Father, we ask you, God, for the hardest, the most raw, angry, and bitter teenagers. God, would you come to them with the power of God and bring them into the kingdom of the Son of your love. Father, we pray that the message of truth of final exit would harpoon hearts with your truth like a well, my God. Lord, we pray that as people are set free, healed, and delivered, Lord, that you would weaken and that you would break down the strongholds of the enemy in this city in Jesus' name.
you thought were the things that moved his heart. You thought that was meant, made him love you more. I see him coming and removing things and taking away things and calling you deeper. He says, all I want is love. 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 Give me your heart. Oh, give me your heart. praying for African-American youth and young, young adults throughout the nation. 
from Ephesians 1.17, that the Father of glory may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power. O Father of glory, I ask that you would enlighten the eyes of the understanding of black youth and young adults by the spirit of wisdom and revelation. O Lord, I pray that you would show them that there are better things than the pleasures of this world. Show them that there are better things than sports. Show them that there are better things than music, than video games. Lord, I pray that you would reveal to them yourself Show them that there is more to life than what they're living for. Show them that there is so much more to life, oh Lord. I pray that you would show them yourself, for you are greater than anything. Lord, you are greater than their pain. You are greater than the circumstances they, have, they may have experienced. Oh Lord, I pray that you would show them yourself in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would show them that you were there with them even before they were born, for you were the one who fashioned and formed them in their mother's womb. You were the one who made them fearfully and wonderfully. Show them that you are God, O oh Lord. Show them that you are their creator. Show them that they were made for you and you alone. I pray that you would reveal to black youth and young adults yourself. Show them that you are God and there is no other. O oh Lord, I pray that they would live for you and you alone. I pray that you would show them the hope of their calling. I pray that you would give to them a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Open up their eyes. Reveal your heart. Reveal to them yourself. Open up their hot eyes. Show them that there is more to life. Draw them away. Show them Jesus. Show them Jesus. pray that they would know that the knowledge of you cannot be surpassed. Let them know the treasure that is in you. Let them know that this, this pearl of great price, which is you. I pray that they would value you and know you beyond anything in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you would show to them the hope of their calling in you. Lord, I pray that you would show them their destinies. Show them what they were made to live for. Show them what they were made to die for. I pray that this revelation would go forth amongst black youth and young adults in the name of Jesus. Even the exceeding power that you are working toward them, this same power that raised Christ from the dead, I pray that you would manifest it in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of wisdom and revelation go forth within the black community. I pray that you would open up the eyes and open up the hearts of black youth and young adults. I pray that there would be fascination and captivation of your son in the name of Jesus. 
captivate their hearts, fascinate their eyes in the name of Jesus, turn away their eyes from looking at worthless things. Oh Lord, that their delight would be the law of the Lord, that their delight would be, in, would be found in you in the name of Jesus. I ask that you would open up their eyes, change many lives tonight. I pray that the spirit of wisdom and revelation would go forth amongst black youth and young adults in Jesus' name. Open up their eyes. Show them the greatness of your power. Send forth your light and truth. Reveal yourself, O oh Lord. Reveal yourself. Reveal your beauty. Reveal your beauty. Fascinate them, captivate them with the beauty of Jesus. Fascinate them, captivate them with the beauty of Jesus. Fascinate them, captivate them.
us your desire, Lord, to contend until we see change, to contend until the debt decree cease in the blood community. Father God, we say this is not your will. Father God, we say no more of shedding of innocent blood. No more. Jesus, we speak life to the black community. We speak life in Jesus' name. Father God, we ask for your will to be done. And we ask, Lord, that you pour this spirit of wisdom and revelation in the black community.
destinies Give them a dream of their babies Open their eyes, shine your light But they will change their minds Give them a dream of their destinies Give them a dream of their babies Open their eyes, shine your light But they will change their minds Give them a dream of their destinies Give them a dream of the babies. Open their eyes, shine your light, that they would change their minds. Give them a dream of their destinies. Give them a dream of the babies. Open their eyes, shine your light, that they would change their minds. Give me 